So why are most plants so skinny? Because they have a light lunch. <laughs> because they photosynthesize. Perfect. <laughs>Kind of like Ace Ventura, you know? But anyway, according to them, they've updated the iconic silhouette and made it more futuristic. But not only that, they've made it more comfortable and more stylish. But of course, that's all down to personal preference. And we are going to talk about every single thing mentioned. But before that though, let's talk about the box. So it comes standard with that red Nike box and I wasn't expecting anything more to be fair because it is a GR. But the product sticker itself does say Women's Air Max 90 Futura and the official color way is summit white cobalt bliss you know i actually look like a glazed crispy cream donut like i am sweating buckets it's unreal and the thing is i can't have the fan on because obviously the mic so i'm in a bit of a pickle we're just gonna have to sweat it out together pause but anyways broskies this air max 90 futura it might be a sticky one in terms of getting the sizing right because it is a women's exclusive now for the us sizing you have to go 1.5 sizes up and even if you go on your uk sizing do not go for that compare your us sizing because then you'll get it right so for example i'm a uk 9 and my us size is obviously 10 so i have to go for 11.5 in the women's sizing i know it's a bit confusing at the start but once you get the hang of it then you're all good to go but in terms of this sneaker in general it is a pretty snug sneaker i won't lie to you so if i had to reorder these i would go half a size up just to give me that little wiggle room that i normally like and yes they are catered mainly for women so they are going to be a little bit more narrow but these are of course sitting near enough anywhere so if you can try these on then i would say do so so retailing for a whopping 145 quid it would be rude not to have an up close and personal look to see what these are made of now i don't know about you bro skis but these are giving me air max 90 terrascape vibes all day long and i'm pretty sure these did actually come out first so i guess the terrascape sort of copied or got inspiration from these but back to this sneaker it is a pretty clean iteration to the air max 90 and this particular colorway gives me those travis scott and fragment vibes and maybe it's me reaching but i don't know it's just the way the blue the black and the white just drop but of course we have a mashup of materials on the actual shoe itself on the underlays we do have that mesh in white and on the overlays we do have a mixture of materials as well and those vinyl nike swooshes do add a nice sort of contrast but one thing i did notice though that sort of spiky edge to the toe box area i don't know why but it reminds me of that verified sticker on twitter don't ask me why it's just something i thought i'd share we have that chunky white mesh tongue though which does look nice with that vinyl material towards the top with the air max branding and that backwards nike swoosh and not to forget that blue pull tab towards the top as well now on the sock liner this is one of the most softest cottons i've ever felt on a shoe but on the so though it is of course in white with that nike air branding with that nike swoosh towards the back we do have that pull tab and one panel that might be a big deal breaker for you this looks so different compared to a normal air max 90 removing that iconic nike air towards the back it just changes so much for me my initial thoughts is i definitely miss that old school nike air at the back 
but over time, I guess it might grow on me. They've even taken away that Air Max TPU panel that we do get on the lateral and medial side. They've replaced it here with that sort of rubber panel. But you know what? It does make it look more sleek. So at the same time with me not liking it, it does work on this shoe. Now the midsole is one thing I don't think they've actually changed. And I think if they did try and change it here, you might as well have called it something else, not an Air Max 90, because that's one of the most distinctive parts of the shoe. And the same with the outsole, which looks like they haven't changed at all. And I'm here for it because it's one of my favorite outsoles ever. Right broskies, what are we thinking so far about the Air Max 90 Futura? Are these a buy or a buy? Now I've been an Air Max 90 fanboy for as long as I can remember. So when these first released, I was a bit like, ah, I'm just not too sure. But I can see what Nike have done with this sneaker. They've made it a lot more sleek and desirable for the female community. And these are so much more comfortable compared to a normal 90. So yes, that is a plus. But in terms of the looks to it, because I'm such an Air Max 90 fanboy, I'm always gonna love the classic. But oh, this isn't a bad shoe by any means. It's like the Air Max 90 Terrascape. That is such a good comparison. These two are very similar in a lot of ways. The Terrascape model does look a lot better in terms of how they've done the shoe. And whether you like those recycled materials on the shoe, that's for another time to talk about. I feel like with that sneaker, they kept a lot of components that the Air Max 90 Classic has and just sort of tweaked it ever so slightly. And I feel a lot more people are gonna gravitate to the Terrascapes a lot more just because they're more widely available in terms of sizing, in terms of colorways, and of course, course Nike are really pushing that model and I do believe they are at the same price as well so the Air Max 90 Terrascape for me is always going to win but look this isn't a comparison by any means this is still a fire shoe I just wish Nike did aim it towards men as well because I know a lot of men would like these <laughs> I'm talking like I'm not a man bro I know a lot of men that would like these I'm a man I like them I do. Apart from these feeling a little too snug when I went true to size, the only sort of other gripe I can have is the price. At the retail price at £145, honestly, there's a lot better out there. But if you can grab these on sale, and I know these go on sale pretty often, then you could get yourself a nice little bargain. But broskies, as always, I will try to leave some purchase links down below as well, just in case you're after this pair or some other colorways. But broskies, the Air Max 90 Futura, in my opinion, is an absolute absolute buy but now it's your turn i want you to comment down below and let me know what you think is this one you're eyeing up in your collection or is this an absolute miss comment down below and i will pin the best comment anyways broskies thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit me up on the socials if you have any questions or just want to show me some love don't forget to listen in to the latest podcast episode and i am also on buy me a coffee if you're feeling generous or hit the super thanks down below and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And until the next episode, take care.